Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. As you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking about Middle Eastern fragrances, specifically fragrances from a Middle Eastern house. And can I throw under that all of these fragrances are absolutely budget friendly? Like I'm talking about all under $50 budget friendly, okay? Yeah, you heard me right. I've been purchasing a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances lately and I have found a few gems that I am just obsessed with. I'm talking about these are bangers. These are perfumes that you guys all need in your collection. They are amazing. The longevity is amazing. The scent trail is amazing. The sillage is amazing. And just the fragrance itself is just Stunning. If you guys are interested in seeing what my favorite Middle Eastern fragrances are that I think that you guys definitely need to check out and get your hands on, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to first start with the one that I'm wearing today. Listen, I got this two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Cannot put it. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. I'm talking about Latafa's Hayati Gold Elixir. This baby, oh my god. I mean, first of all, this is how the packaging looks like. It's a nice white bottle with a gold cap. Really, really nice quality. And you get a ton of fragrance in here. I think this is maybe four ounces. I don't even know. It's a lot. You get a lot of fragrance in here. This fragrance, you guys, is so beautiful. So Hayati Gold Elixir. The top notes are going to be Bermagot, Cassis, and Grapefruit. Middle notes are leather, peach, and saffron, and base notes are vanilla, amber, musk, and vetiver. So this fragrance to me, oh my god, it just smells so good. It's, it has like that leather tone, so it's like leathery, vanilla, fruity, it's just a bit of everything. Like, you definitely get like a fruity aspect to it, but it has so much depth, like that saffron, that leather, it just adds so much depth, but it's also really sweet and smooth and a tiny bit like musky because there is musk in there and it's just a beautiful, like, I think this fragrance is a great all year round fragrance. It was $22, $23 when I got it from Amazon. I will also make sure that I link all of these fragrances down below so you guys can check them out. All of them I got from Amazon, heads up. So you can get all of these from Amazon. I'm sure you can get them from anywhere else, but that's where I got them. But this fragrance, you guys, I mean, I cannot put it down. It's musky, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's deep. It has like that leather. If you're not a fan of leather, don't be afraid either because I'm not, I'm starting to kind of dip my toe into leather fragrances. I love saffron, but leather, I'm like, mm, it depends. But when I tell you this fragrance is blended so smoothly, ugh, it's blended so smoothly, it's so creamy. It's fruity, it's fun, it's sexy, like it's just everything. When I like, if I had to describe this, I would say it's like a nice, rich woman. Like she's just, she doesn't give off snooty, rich vibes. She gives off like genuine rich vibes. Like she's very, she's got some heavy pockets, but she's just really genuine and she's fun and she's sexy. Like she always looks good. She always smells good, like has a vibrant, like energy, personality. Like that's what I get from this like it's a little bit of it's, it's a little bit of everything it's a little fruity it's a little sweet you get a little musky in there it's a little fresh but it has depth like it has depth this is so stunning you guys you guys have to absolutely check this out hayati gold elixir by latafa is a banger and i'm telling you guys do not sleep on it do not sleep on it so definitely check it out next fragrance i'm going to be talking about is another one that is just i mean mouth watering all of these are compliment getters but this one is just like, I mean, just chef's kiss. Like, absolute chef's kiss. This is Al Haramein's um, Amber Oud Gold Edition, specifically the Gold Edition, because there is a couple different Amber Oud flankers. I think there's three of them. The Gold Edition is the one that I'm specifically talking about. This is such a unique, interesting scent. Like, I just genuinely don't, know how to describe it as best as possible without you having to put your nose on it like this is a beautiful summer fragrance you guys let me read you guys the notes um the top notes are bermagot and green notes middle notes are sweet notes melon pineapple and amber and the base notes are musk vanilla and woody notes so it has not similar notes to the first fragrance the um Hayati Gold Elixir, 
but they have a couple fragrance they have a couple notes that are, are similar but this specifically if you know um Georges Arbor Pura that's in that blue bottle it's in the same kind of family so it smells similar this is a amber vanilla fragrance but you get a lot of fruitiness a lot of sweetness but it has like a fresh powdery like muskiness to it but also it's like deep like and the more that it sits on your skin the sweeter it gets and it's just like intoxicating like when i tell you guys this is just intoxicating like if i had to describe amber ooze gold edition by al harmain i would say it is intoxicating it's sweet and it's like fresh like oh my god it smells so 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 good you guys so good i think i got this and it was um how much would i pay for this i want to say it was like 40 bucks i paid 40 dollars for this so i will make sure that i link like i said i'll link everything down below but when i tell you that look we're we're denting this okay i've had it for only a month and we're here we are here and we've only had it for a month like this oh my god and the longevity you guys that's one thing the middle eastern fragrance houses do not lack okay longevity in siage is going to be there like be there front and center and it's going to stick on you like glue and you're just gonna have this beautiful scent trail that people are just gonna be oh my they're, people are just gonna be chasing you okay this fragrance it smells so good it's just amazing if you're looking for a beautiful summer fragrance that lasts really really well that is a little sweet with a little bit of fresh a little musky but has depth into it and is a little different like doesn't smell like everything out there definitely check out Al Harmain Amber Oud Gold Edition because this is this is just an amazing fragrance overall. It's just absolutely stunning. The next fragrance I'm going to talk about is another Al Harmain fragrance. A lot of these fragrances are from similar fragrance house. We have some Al Harmain, we have Latafa, and we have Swiss Arabian, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like those are the top three fragrance, like Middle Eastern fragrance houses. So comment down below if, and let me know if you guys know of other ones. But I believe Swiss Arabian, Latafa, and Al Harmain are the main ones. But this one is another Al Harmain banger. I recently saw me talk about this in my um, July favorites video. This is Al Harmain Janoun Noir. If you love uh, Zhirzhov's Dama Bianca, this is that in a bottle. Like this, oh my God. It's just so feminine. It's so feminine, it's sweet, it's a little powdery. It has like a freshness to it because you get that lime, you get that kumquat. Like when you first spray, I'm spraying all of these because I have to describe them to you as I'm talking about them. Mm. When you first spray um, Al Harmain Genou Noir, you get like this citrusy-ness. You get like a sweet citrusy-ness. And it stays there for quite some time. I would say like the first couple minutes if not like maybe 10 to 15 minutes it stays there but this this scent is so different like it's just like if you know Dama Bianca you know how this smells because it smells they smell the same um it's just I don't know how to describe it like it opens up off really really like fruity and fresh but it like has like this sweetness to it and it has this powderiness like when it starts to dry down you get that sweet powdery feminine like just mouth watering scent it's just so stunning let me read you guys the notes of this so the top notes for um Janou noir is going to be kumquat and lime middle notes are orris violet jasmine and lily of the valley and the base notes are vanilla musk sandalwood and cedar um this is an amber floral fragrance it is considered to be a bit more on the sweeter a little bit powdery musky slightly citrusy kind of vibe so if you're into that Definitely check out Al Harmain Janoun Noir. I mean, it's just sitting here. I'm, I'm smelling it. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. And you guys, I recently went to the movie theater um, last week and I went to watch Barbie. And my scent combination was um, Al Harmain Janoun Noir. And I also mixed it with the Al Harmain um, Amber Oud Gold Edition. These two together, when I tell you, I mean, just impeccable. The amount of compliments that I got was crazy. Like, it was crazy. These two together, babes, get your life. Just get it. It's going to just a beautiful, beautiful scent cocktail. It smells so good. Definitely check out Janoun Noir because it's just a beautiful feminine scent. And the longevity, 
10 plus hours. All of these you're getting eight to 10 plus hours, if not more. The next fragrance, this one is has been my favorite gym fragrance. Yes, I wear fragrances to the gym because when I tell you I'm smelling good from as soon as I wake up to as soon as I go to bed, it's, it's just, that's just the life we live over here. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pool fragrance, gym fragrance. It's just uplifting it's sweet it's a little creamy it's smooth it doesn't have the best longevity that's what i will say out of all of these fragrances this has like the lowest longevity but you're getting five hours out of it four to five hours which i feel like is moderate all of these other ones are very powerhouse very beast mode they're lasting like all day on you this one i would say it's the moderate one um but nonetheless i absolutely love this scent it's just such a creamy coconutty beautiful tropical sweet scent i hope i'm not butchering this name but this is latafa's cod al frisson unlimited the bottle is just so stunning it is a magnetic cap so i mean nice um this scent is very creamy it's very coconutty it's very just tropical like if you love those kind of like sunscreeny pool vibe kind of fragrances like if you're into um if you're into tom ford sole blanc if you're into kayali's utopia if you're into mm, what's another coconut fragrance like i don't i can't think of another coconut fragrance but if you love fragrances that have coconut in it oh my god this you need to get it you need to get it it's so inexpensive it's like 18 bucks 20 bucks i can't remember how much you pay for it but it wasn't more than 20 dollars and you get like a ton in here it's such a beautiful, creamy, coconut, smooth, sweet fragrance. And I love it for the morning when I'm going to the gym. It's just like, it's just an uplifting morning fragrance to me. Like you can wear it during the daytime, but I, I really, really love this for going to the pool, going to the gym, anything that's outdoor when it's hot, this is going to mix so well with that heat. It's just going to be beautiful on you. Let me read you guys the notes. Um, the top notes are coconut, citruses, and pineapple. Middle notes are Elang Elang, Frangipani, and Jasmine. And the base notes are Vanilla, Musk, and Sandalwood. And this is a vanilla, coconut, sweet, powdery, citrusy kind of fragrance. This is just... I started with my more summertime, I guess, appropriate fragrances. I'm going to be entering the fall in the next couple. So this is the last one that I'm going to be talking about that is more summer appropriate. Granted, you can wear fragrances any time of the year that you want to. But this is a pure like perfect summer fragrance so good so smooth so creamy if you're a fan of coconut if you're a fan of those like um sunscreeny kind of vibe fragrances you're going to absolutely love latafa's cod il farsan unlimited i will link it down below get your hands on it it's stunning it's 20 bucks what do you have to lose what do you have to lose by some but maybe some gas money I mean, gas really is expensive right now, so maybe that's not worth it. But I'm just saying, if you trust my recommendations, y'all need to check this out. It's absolutely beautiful. The next three fragrances that we're going to be talking about are more so fall and winter appropriate, but I still wanted to mention them in this video because I would recommend to get them now while the prices are low because you guys already know how Amazon is. As soon as the season comes in, prices hike up. When people start to buy a lot of the same product, the prices go up. So I see prices fluctuate up and down for all these fragrances. I would highly recommend for you guys to pick these up. The ones that I'm going to mention next. Definitely get your hands on them before it gets actually cold where you're at. Because the price might go up on them. All of them are under $50 though. But I'm just saying, save yourself some money, okay? So the first one I'm going to talk about, man, you guys. You guys. Oh my god. This is, I cannot believe I'm about to say this. But I am, Okay. This fragrance that I'm talking about is Latafa's Camera. Is it Camera? Yeah, Latafa's Camera. I'm sure you guys have seen this fragrance literally everywhere. It looks like this. You already know which fragrance this is probably trying to be similar to. I don't like to use the word dupe. You know, it's a little problematic, but you guys already know that this is probably supposed to be a similar dupe or a similar fragrance to Killian's Angel Share. But here's the thing though i paid 33 dollars for this fragrance after tax probably 35 the only thing annoying about it is getting the top off but i paid about 35 dollars for this fragrance and i do have killian's angel share i do have that in my collection and that's a 200 fragrance 
I'm here to say that I like this better than I do Killian's Angel Share. Yes, I prefer the $35 perfume over the $200 perfume, hands down. I will not repurchase Angel Share. I will continue to purchase Latafa's Camera moving forward. This, if you like Angel Share, but you feel like it's just a little too oaky, it's a little too... Uh, what's the word smoky for you? It's not there's not enough sweetness in it Get your hands on camera get your hands on camera by Latafa because this is everything that angel share could be Angel share is a great fragrance. Don't get me wrong. I love Killian's angel share but Camera adds a little bit more gourmand feel to that fragrance. I feel like um, angel share um, by Killian is very straight to the point like you get an apple pie cidery cognac like kind of fragrance like it's just straight to the point that's how it smells like to me which there's a time and a place for that i love that fragrance in the fall and winter time it's just absolutely stunning but to me the always i've always been a fan of it but i just wish it had like more sweetness or more gourmand like creamy um foodiness to it outside of like the apple pie smell that it already has you know what i'm saying and when i tell you that camera hits the spot camera is where it's at this fragrance is so good let me read you guys the notes tapas camera is considered a aromatic spicy fragrance um the top notes are cinnamon nutmeg and bermagot middle notes are dates praline tuberose and mah mahonio and base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, um, benzoin, mirror, and amberwood. So this is like angel share, but with more sweetness and a bit, I feel like it's just more wearable to me. Oh my God, it's so good. I just, this fragrance, I cannot get enough of. And when I tell you it's about to be used and abused, once the temperatures start dropping, once we hit that September, October weather, you know, when fall starts to want to, fall this fragrance is going to be one of my favorites like it opens up with that cinnamon and you get that nutmeg it's so beautiful and it starts to like go once it goes into the middle notes you get those dates at praline that praline and the dates it really like sweetens it up like it just it's, it's but it's not too sweet it's not like sickly sweet it's just a sexy sweet this fragrance is just grown it's sexy, it's blended well, it's smooth, it's sweet, but you still get that foody vibe that Angel Share gives you. You still get that cinnamon, that apple pie vibe that Angel Share gives you. It's just not as smoky, as oaky <laughs> as Angel Share is. And when I tell you guys, if you've gotten your hands on Angel Share and you've smelt it, but you just felt like there was something that was missing from it, or you just felt like it was too manly for you, or it was too um, smoky for you of a fragrance, get your hands on Latafa's camera because when I tell you it's perfect, this is perfect. And the longevity is crazy. It's This is going to be stuck to you like nobody else. It's going to be stuck to you like a two-year-old, okay? this Y'all, just get your hands on this. It's absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, and the last two fragrances I'm going to talk about, these are going to be for my oud lovers. All my oud girls, raise your hands up, okay? I know it's not that many of us, but we're here, okay? If you are a fan of oud, these two perfumes are going to be for you, okay? Oud is a very acquired taste. Oud is not a note that a lot of people care for, especially women, because it just, if it's not done well, it can be too much. It just can be too overbearing, too powerful, too strong. It's a, it's a bit more of a masculine note, I would say, but if it's done right in a fragrance, it is going to make it so sexy and so beautiful and give it so much depth. Oud is a, it's a, it's a, t it's a toughy one. It's a tough one with some people, but Oud I do consider Oud one of my favorite notes because it just adds a different element to a fragrance. It just elevates a fragrance as soon as you add Oud in it. So these next two fragrances are mainly Oud fragrances, but they're Oud that is done right, that I feel like is wearable, that I feel like is approachable, that I feel like is not going to choke you out because <laughs> Oud can be a lot sometimes. So this first fragrance I did get last year. I've had it for a long time and I wore it a lot during last winter and last, last fall and winter. And it's just, I mean, a powerhouse, a powerhouse. All you need is one to two spritz 
and this is gonna be lingering on you all day. I'm talking about people are gonna be smelling you from five to 10 feet away. Like it's, it's, it's one of those, okay? It's one of those. I'm not even gonna try to mention this name. I'm probably gonna butcher it so bad. I am talking about Latafa's Chic Al Shiyuk Lux Edition. Oh my God, you guys, I'm just gonna. <laughs> this is how this fragrance is. I've had it since last year. As you can see, it's not a huge dent because I got it towards the end of the year. Um, but I wore it a few times and a few times that I wore it, I did, you don't need a lot of this, okay? You do not need to overspray this because it's a lot, like a little goes a long way. But when I tell you this fragrance is so stunning, I mean a fall and winter fave, a fall and winter must have, definitely a winter must have. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. Let me read you guys the notes. This is considered an amber spicy fragrance. Top notes are rose, cinnamon, and saffron. Middle notes are caramel and patchouli. And the base notes are woodsy notes, vanilla, amber, and ambroxan. This is a warm, spicy, woody, amber, vanilla kind of fragrance that has caramel, but still has that oudness to it. Oh my God, you guys. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna spray this on me because it's way too hot. It's way too hot today to wear this. You guys have to get your hands on this Latafa fragrance it looks like this i'm not gonna pronounce the name i'm not gonna pronounce the name but when i tell you this is for my girls who love those really deep gourmand kind of scents like this is for you hands down and if you love that depth to your fragrances that sexiness those like more prominent notes a very power house beast mode kind of fragrance this is going to be for you i believe i paid like maybe 30 bucks for it i mean pfft. And you get a ton in here so definitely check this out snack this up once before it gets cold because you are going to be i'm telling you this is going to be the fragrance to have in your collection this fall and winter so definitely check it out and last but not least we're going to be talking about another deep oudish fragrance that is just a stunner like i said oud is not for everyone but this one it has a twist to it it's a bit more of like a sweeter oud a more creamier oud in my opinion and i feel like that's why a lot of people would love this this is latafa's oud mood first of all the packaging how cute is this this is a very new addition to my fragrance collection i did get this the same time that i got the gold elixir by um, latafa the hayati gold elixir i got them together so i've had this for about two weeks and i got it specifically because i was watching cheryl and she talked about this and i was like oh i want to pick it up i like oh like i said but it has to be done well and the way she described it felt like it was up my alley when you first spray this fragrance you definitely get that oud. Like it opens up with the oud immediately. Like that is like boom. The oud is there, okay? You, you don't have to wait for it to dry down or nothing. It opens up definitely with oud. And it, once it starts to dry down, you really start to get that sweet components to it. Let me read you guys the notes for oud mood. The top notes are rose, saffron, and pimento. Middle notes are argarwood, which is oud caramel floral notes and patchouli and the base notes are resins woody notes amber incense and musk so it has a lot of other notes to balance out the oud but the oud is in the middle so you get that early on in the fragrance it's not something that you have to wait for a dry down like it's pretty much there throughout the life of the fragrance but you start to get a little bit of everything else that caramel that saffron that rose you get that and then it starts to dry down and you get that amber and it's a little bit aromatic like if you love aromatic kind of scents sexy scents a little bit smoky just a little bit not too much um but mostly smooth creamy a little uh, with some sweetness to it not sickly sweet but just a hint of sweet this is gonna be a great great fragrance for you guys to check out it's gonna be amazing for winter and fall i know for a fact this is going to be a banger for this fall and winter and this is only 18 bucks you guys it's less than 20 dollars and you see how much fragrance you get you get so much product in here it's absolutely insane i cannot wait to devour these fragrances when it gets cold because it's still hot it's way too hot to wear this stuff right now but when i tell you guys do not tell me i didn't tell you if you love those winter fragrances those sexy oud fragrances those like long wearing fragrances those very powerhouse beast mode fragrances Oud Mood is the one for you, but it's blended very, very well. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's not harsh. You don't get that at all. Like, it's just 
stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And I really, really think that you guys are going to enjoy this. So make sure you get your hands on it before it gets cold because this is going to be a staple this fall and winter. Alrighty, guys, that is it. Those are all of the Middle Eastern fragrances I have recently added to my collection within the last couple months that I have been obsessed with and that I feel are a must have, okay? Every single one of these fragrances are so unique. They're all so different. They all serve a purpose and they're just all so amazing and budget friendly and just beautiful. The fact that you are paying less than $50, almost for some of these less than $30 and the quality that you're getting, the scent that you're getting, the longevity that you're getting is just absolutely, it doesn't even make any sense. It does not even make any sense. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was really excited to film this because I love talking about fragrances in general but especially fragrances that I feel like are accessible to more people because sometimes niche fragrances or just expensive fragrances, yeah, they're nice, but sometimes they're not practical because not everyone is going to be willing or wanting to spend $100, $200, $300 plus on a fragrance. So just knowing that you can still get quality um, fragrances for a budget-friendly price is absolutely amazing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you guys already have any of these fragrances. I would be interested to know. I will make sure that I link every single fragrance that I mentioned in this video down in the description box so you guys can check them out. I'm telling you, do not sleep on these fragrances, y'all. Do not sleep on them, okay? Every single one of these fragrances that I mentioned, I absolutely love. And if you guys trust my recommendations, I don't see you not liking not one of these. And like I said, I will link everything in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want more fragrance content from me in the future. Also, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new or if you're not subscribed. So you can go ahead and join the family and also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I will be uploading next. Thank you guys once again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.